How's it going, ladies and gents? It's Black. Welcome to episode 32 of the Prey playthrough. Been a while. Still having computer issues. Microphone makes a 60 hertz hum. I might be able to get rid of it in DaVinci Resolve. Anyways, we left off last episode getting the connectome for Doc Igway of the, uh, for the pianist, um, from the pianist, uh, Leitner. We also, uh, got Kevin's ring back, but, uh, I'd rather not talk too much about that. Let us journey onwards. We're actually going to go to the Talos lobby and then, uh, to my office, or Morgan's office, and we will, uh, find out where we will journey next from there. Alright, I think this area is clear, however, I just want to check around real quick. Oh, see, that's exactly why I want to check around. Oh, finding more dead co-workers, great. How about you? Nothing? Why did that door just open? collect all the stuff. I have found the restrooms. Ooh. Wait a second. No, it wouldn't be that easy. Oh. Oh. I guess it's that easy. Blood? More blood? Hmm. I don't like chairs, just... Okay, I guess it was the book. I thought it was the chair. Alright, let's get to my office. There's nothing around here of use. Or very little. So you're hearing a new mic, guys. Uh, it's an early 2000s mic with a piece of foam strapped to it. Oh, and you just may have heard that plosion right there. Yeah. I got some weird computer issues. My one mic is absolutely awful. It makes it super loud. The, uh, the humming, Wait, that is. Wait, you said Morgan had gotten medical supplies for you. Were you injured? Nerves. A lot of them shutting off. Could barely see. Was seeing spots. Must have been something down in the power plant. Spots in your vision? Hmm. Sounds like white noise. You know, there was a time when we invested research into the white noise phenomenon to see if perhaps it might be tied to psionic abuse. Paraplexis. It is a medical condition. A physical condition. I've heard the speculations you and others like you have made and the claims of the enhanced perceptions. I assure you, there are none. And you have no idea what it is to feel it. Miss Illusion, my apologies. You are correct. And that was not my intention, but... Paraplexis? That means... No neuromods. The body would reject them. Why... Why would Transtar have allowed you on this station? They did not know. At the time. But... Everyone is screened. How... That is a lot of potential litigation to take on, and the penalties... Morgan... Uh, found out. But... Let me stay. Well, I'm certainly glad we never scanned you for aptitude data. The complications... I would not have let you anywhere near me. I haven't had much success in calling up more fabrication plans. But I did have a design for a psychoscope I mean. chipset. I... Good thing I was being nosy and poked my nose around here. I would have hit that quick save area. This game is unfortunately a little buggy when it comes to... NPCs talking. Morgan, hooked up some more supplies. Take what you need and don't be shy about using it. I don't think they will. <clears throat> that was Morgan. Weird. Hi. 
The discoveries made of Ortelis 1 seem to validate some form of panpsychism. Consciousness is a fundamental force that exists everywhere to one degree or another. It seems plausible then that an organism evolved, is this a joke? which is able to metabolize complex forms of consciousness. What are you saying? They eat other minds? Yes. That's... How can something like that exist? Eerie. Hey, Doc, I have something for you. I haven't had much success in calling up more fabrication plans, but I did have a design for a psychoscope chipset I've been tinkering with. I'd be honored if you found some use for it. Thank you. It's a strange feeling. I hold Lightner's gift to the world in my hands. He will live on. I wish my wife could have heard him play again. That was brave of you. To recover the connectomes for me, I... I appreciate it. I appreciate all you and Transtar have done for me. No problem, Doc. Thank you for the chipset. All right, objectives. Um, I want to take these off. I want to set that inactive. An accident caused a breach in hardware labs. I restored the atmosphere to the breached hallway. Now I can get to the beams and waves lab. Let's go to the beams and waves lab. Now I've already been in there before, and yeah, there's some things in the way, and I'd like to practice some combat because there's a couple of uh, enemies in there, and I think we can do some uh, some epic gamer, uh, whatever you guys call it these days. All right. So. Oh yeah. Uh. That wasn't here the last time. So... Yeah, procedurally generated enemy spawning. Cool. I like. Oh. Ow, my head. Stop. Let go. Like being able to not see him. Was he just gonna leave me alone now? Come on, I wanna fight. Okay then. Oh my gosh. He's still somewhere around here. to recycle. Is he still alive? Okay, now the music's done. Yeah, sometimes nothing spawns in there. Sometimes it does have a poltergeist. There, fixed it. Aww. Where is it? I heard it. It hit itself as a piece of... of type? Did 
didn't know that was a thing, but okay. Right, there's a weaver in there. So what I think I'll do, I'll try to attract him over here. I'm gonna carry this. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna repair it. And I got that pipe there to shoot if need be. Mr. Gluey McGlueface. What is that? That better not be what I think it is. Because that changes the whole... This whole episode. I'm going to... Heal. I'm going to repair my suit. I wasn't planning on fighting the nightmare, but I guess we're doing it, because that might be him. Thank you for updating and maintaining all of my medical directives. I want to take out that one for that robot, though, because that is a medical operator, and it can be used for first aid kits. <laughs> Alright. Medkit fat plan. I didn't know that was here. I thought I cleared this place out when I first came through. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go down and take a sneak peek and see if that is her buddy, the Nightmare. It probably is. If it goes through this vent, I am going to scream. Oh, it is him. Gosh darn it. Oh man, I do not like that. I guess I should shut this, because... He's technically locked in there, right? Right? A am I going to be able to cheese this? Machine shop. I think it's locked. I don't know. I can't tell. I think there's another great open there that I need to shut all this, because... I don't want to deal with him. Um, what? What? No, don't blow my cover. Alright. Uh, He's locked in there, so you know what? I'm not going to worry about him. But I do want to close that other vent. There's a note. Important. Log every time you enter the maintenance crawl space through the access panel. Leaky pipe fixed by R. Wood. Unexplained light flicker. Unable to locate source. Power grid okay. It's probably the uh, poltergeist I dealt with. Um, electrical device near machine shop door unstable. Used local adhesive for temporary fix. Oh, that's the thing that uh, that's to the left of me, I believe. Note, in case of emergency, head into the maintenance crawl space via the small access panel below to shut off local power. Notify me immediately. Alright. I think that... Oh, this does not end in the other room. Okay. Thank. I could turn the power on. Is that a good idea, though? I can't repair. 
repair this? Don't tell me that. Okay, here we go. I think he just noticed. Yeah, he's noticed me. Huh, <laughs> but he can't do crap. Let's do a little bit of fun with him. <laughs> Alright, fun over. I think we're just going to keep him locked in there. First, I'm going to close this vent, because I don't think he can get in there. Get in here through there, but I am not staying to find out. Next, we'll take care of that weaver, because that weaver is a problem. We need to get there. So, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to consume alcohol. How much is too much? That was weird. I don't know what that was about. These guys are supposed to pop when you shoot them. There we go. Take him out? I don't know if I've been here. Oh, wait, this is going to the other room, isn't it? going into that room and I don't want to deal with the nightmare that's not my MO open store anyway oh I could sneak up behind him we might take him out I'm not sure all right well I think the weaver is gone so good as pie. Okay. I'm gonna get that explosive container. We've reached or accessed the Beam and Waves lab. Ooh, 
questionable ethics. I can dig this. Splat. Now I think I already have one of these in my locker in my office. And I don't even have enough space for it anyway. Anything else around here? Nope. Alright, well, Lane, I'm sorry to say, but I, uh, I'm giving you your resignation. Q-beam fab plan. Well, I'll be honest, the Beams and Waves lab is uh, kind of boring. The It's not much of a laboratory, it's more of just a shooting range and a workbench and workplace. Enjoy your time at the top while it lasts, because it won't be long. Mr. Dalton, please do not confront Lane. Let's give it one more shot. How does 7.30 this evening sound? Mandatory sessions are worthless. Someone got the credit. Not talk therapy. Um... Hmm. Yeah, this isn't the most exciting laboratory ever. It's kind of boring. I mean, this one's got a nice hole in the, the wall. I think this one's better. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.